Hi, I'm Rebecca Brand, and today we're gonna make savory crepes. I'm gonna show you how to make the batter and you're gonna to top it any way you want. The ingredients I use for this are buckwheat flour, white flour, eggs, salt, milk, and butter for cooking. We're gonna use a blender because it makes it super easy. So we start with a half a cup of the buckwheat flour, a half a cup of the white flour, a pinch of salt, and three eggs. One, two, three. Now let's add our milk. It takes one and a half cups of whole milk or low fat milk. We're gonna blend that and mix it up really well. After 30 seconds, you're gonna to wanna to scrape down the sides and get all the little pieces of flour that didn't get incorporated back into your brew here. So you gotta check around and see if there's any hunks that are hiding from you because you want it really smooth. Put the lid back on, you don't want it in your face, and you blend it for another 30 seconds. The blender makes it nice and smooth. Now, if you don't have a blender, you can do this in a bowl, but make sure you strain it to get all the lumps out. That is looking smooth to me. I did a good job of getting those chunks out of the side of the blender. So now we're gonna put plastic wrap on this and put it back in the fridge for at least an hour. You need to relax the gluten and the bubbles need to work their way out. It's gonna be a very thin batter and it has to be really together to have that super thin crepe. This is gonna go in the fridge. All right, it's been an hour. So we turn our heat on high, the very highest heat. I wanna start with melted butter because it goes faster that way. So I'm gonna do 22 seconds in my microwave. All right, it's done. Be careful, you don't want to hurt your fingers if it's too hot. Add about a tablespoon of butter. Tilt the pan to spread it. And we add one quarter cup of your batter. And we're tilting the pan to spread it and to make it round. And then I rest it back on the heat. That's gonna take about 30 to 60 seconds on high heat to cook. You can tell it's about ready to flip as the color changes to a darker brown. That's been 30 seconds, so I am ready to start flipping. Depending on your thickness though, it might take 60 or 90, but this is a thin one. So get your spatula underneath it, and with my fork, I'm gonna help it stick on the spatula for a perfect turn. That's the trick. Now, it's not gonna take as long on the other side because it's pretty much cooked on the first side. For my savory recipe, I'm just gonna grate a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top. What a simple, easy snack. Okay, it's been 30 seconds, off it goes. Okay, I'm gonna fold it into thirds now to get ready to eat it. It's thin like I like it. It's soft, it's pliable. It's got that beautiful cheese inside. Let's taste it now. Mm. That's great. The French way is with buckwheat, but you can use white flour or whole wheat flour. Mm. It's gonna be delicious any which way you go. Bon appetit, enjoy your crepe. Subscribe to my channel, and I'm gonna show you how to top them.